Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my art lab. The theme for this month's collaboration is ring pours. I really think ring pours are the most versatile uh, technique in fluid art. I sat down and made a list of every technique that I could think of that includes a ring pour, and I came up with 18 different techniques. And that's just the ones that I've tried or the, or the ones that I know of. So um, I gave that list of uh, techniques to my Patreon group, and everybody chose a different technique, and so we've got a bit of a, a collaboration train here for you. Some of the members have channels, so they're videos will be included um, in, in the playlist that is in the video description below. So if you start at the beginning, it will YouTube will automatically take you from one video right directly to the next in the collaboration. But also at the end of my video, I've included the, uh, the photos and the work of the people in the Patreon group who don't have channels. You don't have to have a channel in order to be a Patreon member for Nate's Art Lab. Um, so if you want to join, check out the information in the description box below for that also. Um, and I have also included in the video description all of my hints and tips on how to get uh, a really great ring pour, how to choose your colors, how to layer your cup, how to uh, pour so that you get really great concentric rings, um, and how to nail or stick the landing so you get a really good focal point. So I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you find it very useful, and I hope you enjoy the whole train. We've got some beautiful uh, ring pours to show you today, and thank you very much for watching. Enjoy. Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. As you heard from the introduction there, I am doing a ring pour using uh, the cloud mix. So I'm gonna be doing a cloudy ring pour. And these are my colors. This is Golden's Heavy Body uh, Turquoise Thalo. This is Amsterdam's uh, Turquoise Green. This is Amsterdam Thalo Green. This is Amsterdam's Cyan Blue. And this is a mix of Golden's Clinacridone Nickel Azo Gold with uh, Deco Art's 24 Karat Gold. Uh, it's a color that I learned from, a custom color that I learned from Mina Villegas that she calls Marigold. It is just a glorious color. And I, with all of these blues and greens, I really wanted uh, something warm to go with it. So I think it's the perfect color. And then of course I have my cloud mix. Now the cloud mix is uh, everything here is mixed three parts flow trawl to one part paint uh, and this is the same of this but the one part paint is split between Amsterdam titanium white and DecoArt satin enamels white. So um, I'm going to layer my cups. I have two cups. This uh, canvas is a 24 by 24 inch canvas so I need about 20 ounces of paint. I do have a base coat that I'll be putting down. This is some leftovers blue, leftover blues and greens that I'll be using as a base coat. Um, so I need probably 15 to 16 ounces of paint. Um, once I have a base coat, I can get away with a little bit less um, paint on poured paint. But um, I don't have a cup big enough, so I'm going to split it into two. So this will be the main pour, and then this will be the kind of focused pour in the center. So um, I will go ahead and put down my base coat, and we will get started. Actually, no. Let's layer our cup first, duh. Um, okay, so first let's layer the little cup because that, the, whatever happens in the center will expand and become the primary focus. So we want to put uh, some colors down that are going to be really pretty. I'm gonna start with the darkest color, I think. I want this dark turquoise and just a little bit, not a lot, just enough to cover the bottom of the cup. And I'm gonna put this marigold right on top of that. And then I'm gonna put some cloud mix. To kind of lock that in place. Give it something to puff up against. And let's go with the blue on top of that. The cyan blue. And we'll do the turquoise green. Thalo green on top of that. And I think a little bit of gold again. And then the white. We've got room for a little more. Put a little more of this dark turquoise here. And the light turquoise. And the cyan blue. 
and we will stop right there. Okay, so I want to end. I want to because I'm pouring this cup first and this cup second. I'm going to use that same color in the bottom here so that when I pour these out, those colors are together so the two pours blend easier together. And let's put, I use the turquoise green there. Let's use the phthalo green next. I can do bigger layers now that I'm in the bigger cup. cells out of that too. you close maybe hold your hand a little while somehow i know you're gonna be the girl that i'll end up calling my own we ride around in style sleeves rolled up glasses on and then you make that style and my heart starts racing when i'm with you
tunes and homemade booze, but it always goes too far. Shoot him pool, crack a jack, take off now and don't look back, but hey, don't you want to play? Hold on, sugar, why you look so sad? Come on now, mama, ain't nothing here so bad. You got fast cars, movie stars. Party on down the street with Mary Jane, good cocaine, laying it down there to eat. Double down, throw some dice, take off now, don't think twice, but hey, don't you want to please? Here are the results of my cloudy ring pour. Wow, these colors go so well together. And I love that I used my spinner and kind of spun it out a little bit uh, as I was pouring it because it distributed the colors uh, very evenly and, and around. You can actually see a bit of a spiral happening here, which I think is super cool. Um, it is mostly centered, but it does come off the, the um, canvas a bit on the left-hand side, but I like that on this particular one. Sometimes I want them to be centered, but on this one, I like it. So let me take you in so you can see some details here of the cloudiness that you get from using that set and enamel. Look at this center. That center is gorgeous. I'm so glad I used a darker color in the bottom of that cup and these little boulder cells that are popping up because of that gold and quinacridone, that marigold color that I'm using. You see all this sparkle happening throughout it. Beautiful. Look at the layers of these rings. That right there. Well, that must be the where I used the cloud mix right next to this um, primary cyan. Made a really interesting color. I love that. The turquoise or the thalo green and then the turquoise really really great color combination i love it look at that section there that satin enamel when it puffs up and softens the other colors it's just magic look at these cute little jelly bean cells over here on the outside edge really nice and multicolored too i love it focus back in there we go yeah, so that is the ring pour, the cloud pour done as a ring pour. I hope you enjoyed that. Stay tuned for the dry results. So here are the dry results of my cloudy ring pour. I'm really happy I put this on the spinner so that I got that, um, instead of just a ring pour, I also kind of got a spiral effect, which is really cool. I'm super happy with this center. It dried gorgeous. I love that extra little swirl. I used my smack stick to, to add into it there, but these lines of uh, white and gold coming out from the center, ooh, so pretty. I really like it. This gold up here just glows. I love the puffiness of the, the white and the, um, uh, the way 
it creates layers and transparency and and boulder cells and all kinds of stuff that satin enamels are uh, those satin enamels are amazing things but yeah this is a great ring pour i'm really happy with it i hope you like it too um stay tuned for um well there are three artists whose um, work is coming right up next and uh, right here at the end of this video and then i have a, a train with the playlist and all of that kind of stuff for, for nate's art lab so stick around for all of those and thank you very much for watching please do all those ubtube things give me a like give me a subscribe share it onto your social medias all that kind of stuff so thanks again and come back and see me sometime